Hi everyone, uh, I'm James Davis. I'm the Chief Product Officer here at the Axe. And this is the first of a number of videos that we're going to create that will show people how to use our system, give a showcase of some of the features on it, and basically talk through how this is going to operate. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen, uh, then I'm going to attach a wallet and walk through. Okay. So welcome to our platform. I'm First of all, I've just launched our vx.com uh, site. Uh, you can see some information here about what we're going to be building and how we're going to be building this. But today I'm going to focus on how to use our test net. We're going to have a look around parts of our test net. We're going to look at some of the features on our test net. Uh, and then we're going to connect to wallet and do some of the basic transactions. This is just a step through of how that works. So first of all, I shall connect a wallet. I will have created a wallet here. I've created a new wallet for this on my near wallet, uh, a test net wallet. And this is just of completely, uh, as you can see, only created 10 minutes ago and a new wallet just created a uh, plane from there. So when we go to connect wallet, you can see the wallets that we support. So I'm going to choose my near wallet and I'm going to connect my near wallet. So there it sees my near wallet. Uh, I could choose next. It says, am I connecting and asks for the allowance of the feed to do this. And there we are. So we now have a wallet connected. So we can see the operations on there and we're able to disconnect that wallet if we want to. Fine. So then we look at the different actions that we can take. Uh, I think I one interesting aspect here is to look and see the aspects that people have already taken. So let's let's just talk through these different screens uh, and then we are going to look at uh, some of these actions indiv individually. So the swap screen that we start in is the screen where the majority of users are going to be uh, conducting their business with us. Uh, and this is where people are able to come in and choose to move from one token to another. So this is a token that you have in your wallet. You want to be able to do something else with this. The pool, this shows currently my positions. As we know, this is a new wallet. So this is where all the positions, if I'm creating liquidity and putting my tokens to work within the platform, would be shown. The next, and this is probably we're going to come back in a moment. This is our wrapping feature for NIR because NIR is a coin uh, and we need to be able to turn it into a smart contract token to be able to push it into the pools. So this is the first place when you want to wrap NIR or unwrap NIR to be able to use it in the pools. And then just for interest, we'll have a quick look at the exchange pools uh, and see what activity we've had since we launched the testnet yesterday. So you can see in the first 12 hours, there are quite a number of pools created with quite a lot of testnet TVL in them. But this has been many hundreds of years. I mean, uh, more than 600 users connected in the first six hours and interacted with the platform in some form, pushing information in, in and out. So we feel that's been a very successful launch, good community engagement, and we continue to see a very active Telegram stream of people wanting to interact with the testnet processes in the right way. So I go back to the the wrap near, and this is the first action that we need to operate on. So. So we want to take some of the near in our wallet. We have 199 near and turn it into wrap near. So first thing I will do is wrap, and I'm going to wrap 150 of my near. So we put 150 in there to produce 150 wrap near. We press the submit button. This takes us across to the wallet for approval. I press the approval button, and then it takes us however long the test net is taking to uh, to process transactions. So we're only going out once to the test net to request for the transaction in that in that time we're not sending uh lots of sequential different uh calls to it but the test net doesn't always respond in the same way that the main net will respond so you have to rely on the fact that we will be minimizing the number of transactions that you need to make to complete something uh but we are here wholly reliant on the reaction speed of the test net but that was a good reaction speed so we can now see that we have uh, some tokens. Does this give us, you can see in the top up here that there are 199, uh, four, sorry, 49 near remaining on that wallet. And as I move across, I can now come to swap some tokens. So I'm going to perform 
a primary swap. So this here, I'm just going to swap from Rapnir and I'm going to select something else that's in the token. I'm going to take one of the favorites. So I will take some, uh, actually, let's have a little look at the analytics and see which the biggest pools have been. So USDTE seems to have a reasonable amount. ETH seems to have a lot. So maybe an USDC, there's plenty in all of these. So uh, I will maybe take wrapped near into USDTE as the first transaction. So there's USDTE. And I want to swap. Let's do 100 of these wraps near. And it shows me how many USDT I'm going to. That would be lovely in the real market. But I will now press the swap button. Let the transaction approval come through. Press the approve button. There we go back. And then we can, we now will have a balance of USDT. So there's our balance of USDT. So that's how wrapping of tokens typically works. If I come across to my near wallet, refresh this page. And we can see in my near wallet, we can see the tokens and the results of what I've done, how much wrap near I've got left. Now I've got USDTE. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some USDTE and some wrap near and I'm going to contribute them to the to the pool. So I'm going to come to the pool. I'm going to create a new position. I'm going to use a concentrated liquidity. Uh, I'm going to select USDTE. And wrap near, and we see that we have a balance to create in that. We're going to leave the slippage tolerance to water, and I'm not going to give any particular focus onto the ranges at the moment. But this is where I could adjust the minimum price and the maximum price, and I can adjust the range that I want. But this is just today a video about showing you how to go and interact with these and how to find the liquidity range, not every single part. I can set different fees. I'm going to keep the fee nice and small. Uh, and I'm just going to put in, actually, I think I may turn this round. So I may choose uh, wrap near USDT the other way around. So I am going to put in, I can just press the switch and swap between uh, the way in which the pool is created at the price. So here's a, here is our spot price. So this is one to a thousand. And so I have 101,000 of these. Uh, so that means that if I put in 10 of these, it gives me my spot price for that. Uh, and that's fine with me. I'm going to keep this all across the range. So I'm going to confirm the addition of liquidity. This is me joining the center of that market. And I'll press the approve button. So we can now see that our... Uh, position has been confirmed uh, and this shows our liquidity pool this shows the range that we're working in so we can go and look at the position details of this we can see our range uh, we will look in a follow-up video in a little bit more detail about uh, how the changes in ranges would affect the spot price how different fees will will change my reward profile and how all of these things come together and i'll talk a little bit more about how these different dynamics for charting is going to come so let's just jump back to the pool and go back to that new position we're not going to create a position this time but i want to talk about some of the features on this screen and where we're going to take them so i think the key feature that we see here are these two charts that are coming soon so right our idea here is to be able to give a very clear view to anyone who wants to come in and look at the liquidity, where that liquidity is distributed, where those ranges are, where the price ranges that are set up for the person who's about to contribute, where they will come in. And the same thing with the fee levels. You want to know how much is contributed at each fee level, which is the fee level that this pair is currently consolidating its liquidity transformation around and that way if you push something lower you're going to be less competitive at spot if you push something sorry if you put it you're going to be more competitive at spot and if you push something higher you're going to be less competitive at spot 
So that gives you a whole range. And then we'll start on another video as well to look a little bit more closely at some of the other liquidity positions and how these different aspects operate. So then I just want to talk about something else that we've seen come up on the uh, Telegram channel so far, uh, and that's the faucets. So there are faucets available uh, for you to be able to generate tokens. If I go to nearfaucet.io, this is a to this is a faucet that a lot of people have used to create uh, tokens on near. It's a clearly not an official one, but if I put in my address, if I can remember the name that I used on this. I come over here, I can put into this and I can say, please send me, I'll just do 20 as it suggests, 20 in there. And this is my way of creating tokens to start to go and use within the testnet environment. So when I come back to the near wallet, I'm going to refresh my near wallet. See, this is, this is uh, received 20 near from the faucet. And you can see there's lots of methods being called on here to interact with our smart contracts. On that basis, we're going to release more videos over the next few days, looking in more detail at some of these aspects. And we will look in a bit more detail at some of the future things that we're going to be bringing out in the swaps and in the pools. Uh, and these will form the basis for our rewards program that we want to bring out uh, starting on Monday next week. And we'll start to reward people for their interaction, for giving us feedback, for uh, utilizing our test net and really helping us make sure that this is uh, working super effectively as we push it into mainnet. So for today, that concludes our video. Thank you very much.